imperfect. <laughs> yeah, I've got some imperfections. Crooked smile, acne where my neck ends. Things I'd rather not have. Things I'd rather you not see. I'd rather you perceive a better version of me. Have you ever felt like that? If only I could get that sorted, that taken care of. Then I'd be truly happy. My imperfections would wear off. But what I'm aware of is this constant strive for perfection means we can never rest. It's like climbing Mount Everest, getting to the top and having to climb another Mount Everest. It never ends, imperfect. The problem is that this world takes things on face value, which means we have to fake things to give our face value. It's fake value, imperfect. They used to say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But it seems these days that beauty is in the hand of the syringe holder. Imperfect. The problem is that we're so desperate for approval. But from who though? Well, I guess from myself, but also from you. So that's why I choose very carefully what I put on social media. And if I don't get enough good feedback, I become needier and needier hoping that you might befriend me, approve me, that I would be accepted. They said keep up with the trends, and so I kept it, perfected. Then why am I so tired? Maybe because I got acceptance, but it's looks that it's based on, it's cool that it's based on, it's trendy that it's based on. I put out so much energy to put someone else's face on. Imperfect. Let's face it, it's in our faces. Magazines and TV convince us that we need facelifts. We can't escape this. It's like we're in a prison and the four walls are unmovable. But who's holding the key? This idol of approval, imperfect. But what if someone accepted us just the way we are? That's what I'm looking for. That's the yearning of my tired soul deep in my chest. If only I could find acceptance as I am then I could finally find rest. But what I know is that God created me. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Make no mistake, He makes no mistakes. See, we judge on face value, but He loves on faith value. We looked at the outward appearance, but the Lord, that's not what He requires. He sees directly into our heart, our deepest needs and desires. Acceptance? I kept looking for it in the shallow, skin-deep, fleeting world that has an obsession with raiding me. But I found acceptance in the very one who created me. But how? Because I'm far from perfect. In fact, for a while, I didn't even acknowledge His presence. Well, that's why grace is so amazing, because it's not based on my perfection. Jesus took my place, took my failures, took my sin and imperfection. He nailed it to the cross in His death and resurrection. Imperfect, Him, perfect. Imperfect, I'm perfect and I'm free.